a little bit of correspondence. I mean, we were just here not too long ago. Um, there were some questions that went out um, to Chief Ayat, and those answers are back. We'll take that up during the budget. And on a second note, some information from um, about the audit, that the audit is um, complete at this point. Uh, actually, the main part of the audit, and maybe if I'm saying this wrong, Fred, maybe you can correct me. Main part of the audit was done a long time ago, but there was difficulty um, getting numbers for the capital assets because of the way it's in, it's in several different places, it's in several different programs. All the information was there, but the auditors had a difficult time retrieving it. I got that correct? We had been compliant with GASB 34. Right. So in order to bring all of the fixed assets onto the books, it's a huge undertaking on the part of the us in the finance department, along with all of the department heads who had to help get all of their infrastructure, their vehicles, and all of that onto the books. And then we ran into some software issues also. So um, that is what's the main hold of the audit. Is everyone on the same software for that? For listing that, or do we have <coughs> different programs? That we get it through our financial software. So everyone does not have access to the financial software now. Okay. So now that is complete, and as I understand it, the town has to accept it, and then the auditor will make arrangements to come in and explain it. The draft audit we should be receiving shortly. We don't even have the draft audit. We don't have it yet. Audit. Okay, and once you have it. Once we, the, um, we have the draft audit, the Board of Selectmen will get a copy of the draft audit and they have to sign off accepting it. And then they will print the hard the <coughs> books and we'll post it online and all that. Okay. I know Final draft. I know everybody was concerned with the audit, so Mike? If I may, um, if we can't consider any board articles that take out the undesignated fund balance until we know what's, how much is in there. And it has to be the cash portion, not the... Uh, Taxes due portion. Thank you. And we did get response from the assessing questions that we had on yes. the consent agenda. Those have been forwarded to everyone. So one of the last questions is on um, the undesignated balances, the, undes uh, the unreserved funds. Do you know when we'll get that? Is Fred, Fred is back here. I'm sorry, Jamie, you've obliterated, you know. No, you didn't have to move, it's just, he was hiding. from where I sit, he was no longer there. <laughs> I've been directed by my <laughs> boss to come back to you. <laughs> he sat there for Anybody purpose. who listens to their boss. <laughs> I didn't hear that. When will we get that? <laughs> it will be in the audit, the designated fund balance. It will be the end of year undesignated fund balance, and then you will have to take off the 500000 that the Board of Selectmen has um, yeah. voted to use to offset the tax rate. Plus, there was a Warren article that uh, I think it was for the Grist Mill, the 400000 had to go back into. So I think it's going to be right about 4.5, is my best guess. Once I haven't seen the audit, but once I see the audit, my. Um, the undesignated fund balance is at right about 4.5. And we'll see an accounting for that. Yeah. <coughs> when, when? I that gave it you a, an accounting of that back when... Um, but that's not, that, like that's not confirmed at this point in time. Right. We asked for cash balance as well. When are we getting this report? Christy is saying that she has to wait until she gets the audit. So... And so that's from a year ago? Yeah. The that's fund balance from a from year, year ago. Yes. We're and the 14. Yes. Should have been done that's last year. No, but I mean, we're going to be voting on warrant articles that relate to spending. I would think you'd want to know where is it mm. as of the end of 15. I mean, We'd like to know exactly what the auditors think at the end of 14. That would be so logical. Yeah. Yeah. This is town government. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, let's put it's it to you. Ground again. You know, we did it last yeah, Tuesday. Not to go on about this, we're going to deal with the Warren articles technically in 2016. Okay. And 
you'll have it. You'll either have information at that point, Scott, or you won't. You'll everybody will decide according to their principles okay. on how they'll vote. Um, okay. So, did we get a date on? No, we did not. Get no, we, we don't have needed fund balance. We so don't have no. a date. Okay. So that is clear. So the expectation remains null and void. Well, or at least null. At this point, once the audit is in the hands and it is approved, then uh, we'll see some sort of accounting from Christie. Okay. <laughs> I will say that going this far out and having Warren articles that want to dip into these funds is putting those Warren articles to me in jeopardy at this point in time. You know, really. I don't know. We, I mean, I don't really care about. I mean, necessarily uh, the O14 audit in itself. The only one we need, we need a statement from Plotzik and Sons or whoever, Sanderson. or from Friend or uh, Sanderson, what the undesignated fund balance is right now, and it's un unofficial because uh, you know the, the audit itself hasn't been released. I don't really care about a lot of five million. Five million. That's, four point five million. That's, four point five million. That, that's the number she mentioned a month ago. Yes. So, it is. You're right. When we talk to the board of talk talk about it. yes. Well, yeah. Uh, bef when can before we get go? the? When can we? Before they go, I, I just wanted oh, to get, try to get an answer on the default budget. I didn't yeah, know the that default budget. Right. We need to know when okay. we're going to get that. Fred, oh, Christy, before yeah. you go, yeah. we have a question for you. Default budget on the yeah. default budget. On the what? The default budget. Yeah. Default budget. Okay. Do you know when it, about what time, Fred? Uh, you know, a date? No, I don't. It's got to be, it's gotta be done. We know that. Um, and we're still, we are, re, we're still reviewing some, but we're, we're worried about the insurance. Yeah. Well, can you, can that be completed with the insurance as it stands? I know that you don't have a final figure and we can adjust that at the end. Because the insurance figure will be whatever it is. Well, the insurance figures will be what they what they exactly. Want. We have no control over that, well, or, or the default budget for that matter. And we realize well, I that, that they'll be that they will be adjusted we as they like will be in the in the budget itself. I'm responsible to give the select with the total budget. I, have, I don't have it. There's a couple they have other to vote things it, too. And to go back and redo the whole thing over again is a pain in the you know what. And I, in order I, to change the default, they've got to do that. Go back and change the whole go over the whole budget. Well, if that was the case, then we wouldn't have the bu the budget at all. We oh. wouldn't have this either. I think we've waited long enough, Fred. We are, you know, getting to midway in December, and I really think, as a committee, we need we need the default budget. Well, we'll see what we can do to get it to you, but I can't tell you what. I just don't know. What Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Good night. Yep. Good night. Hi, hey. hey, Kristen. Michael, did you have a, was that it? Well, I was just going to wait until we're out of earshot. I, I, I'm beginning to think we're getting so much BS in this room that I can't stand it between the audit and the default budget. And they said, uh, you mentioned that the insurance rates are fixed, right? Well, if they're fixed, why are we $200,000 off on this year's I didn't budget? say the insurance rates are fixed. Well, they're, but what I yeah, said yeah. is that you were, we were all given a budget. The ball hasn't finally landed on the insurance rates right. for them to do the default budget, but that would also hold true for the budget. When right. those insurance rates land, your budget book is going to change. That's true, but if you notice, this last year, the year we're in, they're off by well, $200,000. So two different even though you have the correct numbers, that doesn't necessarily mean the right amount ends up two, in the default budget, Two different it? issues is what, 750 lines? In the budget, what, 10 of them maybe have to uh, do with 400 insurance? 402 line or 20 400, line. whatever it is. It feels uh, like 2,000 right, right now. <laughs> the point is, is that not every line in this budget is... Um, Perfect? Well, no, not every line <laughs> No, not every line in this budget has to do with insurance. And if we're doing the budget knowing that we're going to have insurance figures that are going to change, right. certainly we could do a default budget uh, and I review with that. that. With the with the same notations, so I, mean, I it's got to be the know. same as last year's budget. Uh, budget. We've had this in the past. We've had we've gotten the 
the default budget from day one in the book right next to it, right. knowing that numbers would change. And before final review, we usually get those calculations, why we don't have it. We, we haven't really reviewed and approved the municipal insurances yet. We, we, they, she came in and, and like I said, those numbers are going to change, but right. they're going to change in the budget as well as the default budget. Yeah. So the rationale for not having a default budget right now yeah. to work with is moot point. Well, it's the same thing with the uh, undesignated fund balance. I mean, right. if the audit's finished, except for the cap, the, the Gadsby reconciliation, it is so fine. Give us that portion that we can. It is complete but it has not been approved by the town. So that, I, I won't push that one, but it should be wrapped up soon. But you know, on the health, on, on the insurances business, where I have seen us underrun, even in the school we overrun, because they tell us, you know, budget, like, we're, we won't be, it won't be any greater than 6% or 7% right. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so you budget for it, you crank your numbers in for it, and then three months later, you know, it comes out like, you know, half of what they, they said it half of what they said to me. Like I said, if you know it's going, those lines are going to change, it still does not affect anything that is non-insurance related. Right. The rest so of the budget you still goes. have the other, yeah. let's say, 90% of the budget to be able to, to go over, knowing that those are changing. We're not, look, we know that. So I don't know why we don't have it. I don't if there's that. anything you can do, Representative, being selectman so being. I would suggest that you as the chair speak to the chairman of the selectman yet. That's what I would suggest. I have done that already. There you go. Okay. But perhaps that was a couple of weeks ago. Perhaps you can instill a little bit more urgency at your next meeting on Monday that we're still looking for it. We realize the insurance numbers will change. They will change in the budget as well. We realize that. But the time really has come to give us the default budget. Duly noted, Madam Chair. Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. I'll watch with eager anticipation. <laughs> <laughs> Breathless anticipation. So, All right. What? The treasurer question. Oh. Yes. Um, what is we it? all sent in questions we wanted to ask the treasurer well, to be centralized by the chairman right. for right. our and blessing or mashup tonight. Okay. So what's the question? Remember? And everybody got a copy? Yes. Yep. I did all not. Right. Did came not? in the email. I came today. Came yeah. in an yes, email. Yes, I did. I, you know, I, did. I printed it. So I sent you my, my question. That was a pencil remarks that she answered the question with that. Yeah, well, yes, I, I did that. that. Get, get I that saw copy. that. I apologize. Oh, I saw that, but I didn't print it. Can we have? I just, I just got it, so I didn't read it. Yeah. So I was thinking that maybe I'd read it tonight when this meeting is done, and I can go home and read no, it. No, the one that she has her hand. I think take a look at that. Is that the one that? That was sent out today? By it just came Jim today. Though. I did print what was in the email thing, but I haven't read it yet. Yeah. Because I'm here at this meeting. You well, know? But we're running, you know. Yeah, we need to, we need to answer. Take a look we at it. We need to ask more questions, that's for sure. Right, Tim? I think at least the read response we got from the treasurer. We, did, we need to. There were several it. things well, that arrived, and I, I haven't read any of them. It was something from we the assessor. We had one question out. I mean, I can read this to you. Go ahead. All right basically the request itself and I don't know if anybody else here had anything else they wanted to add the questions right now seem to be centered around the Conservation Commission right issue. Right. right the other funds there weren't any questions on and basically very clearly what is the name or names of the funds the request put more simply of the funds which the Conservation Commission is a stakeholder what are the names of the funds? What is the current balance of each fund? What are the transaction details that have taken place in each fund during the year 2015? Right. What year was the Warren article passed in which each fund or funds was created or modified by the town meeting? Amen. Are we in agreement on yeah. these? Okay. okay. One question. That sounds uh, pretty good. And that is, is when we got a response back from her, a handwritten response, that she listed three accounts. Yeah. Is that three accounts under one fund that's or three that's funds? That's what we're asking. That's what, that's what we're, we're asking. asking. Is that clear okay. in the letter? That's what we're going to ask. When I spoke we to don't Ellen, know. clearly we needed the name 
right. of the funds because if you go back to what started all of this um, when the Conservation Commission came in they started out saying they had one fund then by the time we were done it was two funds the names of the funds had changed there are going to be warrant articles out there with fund names on them that and that what we got back was that sheet that had it broken down but there still weren't any names right. to the funds right with the names to the what where it's going is the names of the funds will give an identity to the fund that goes back and link to a warrant article for purpose. I think if we're raising money at 90000 a whack, $100,000 a whack, we need to know what fund that's going into. So well, I think this question spells it out a little bit better. The question we had was whether we needed to take up her time and bring her in here or if we get a satisfactory answer to this and we don't have to do that. So let's see what, well, she, let's see what the response is going to be. I move that we I think Wait, Tim, then Michael. I think that what, what Eileen read off were essentially the four bullets of data that we're looking for. Right. Uh, this is from my memo. Um, there was a contextual paragraph above that might clarify, I can read Jerry. that too, if you want me yeah, to. That would be fine. All right. <clears throat> there appears to be some confusion as to the Budget Committee's question. The Treasurer's response is attached, and that was the three items that mm -hmm. you got, which was intended to remove confusion on the name of all funds, not the balance in each fund currently under the custodianship of the Town Treasurer and under the control of the Conservation Commission. To provide context to the confusion we wish to clear up, and actually we've given um, a video snippet in their link to go back so she can look at what it is we have a question about. Thank you, Tim, for giving us that snippet. And budget committee uh, meeting on 11-12. So we're giving her every opportunity to be very clear on what we want, short of taking up her time and coming in. Yeah, if we fire those four bullets off, I think it'll work. Now, yeah, when so we got that list of funds, Eileen, yeah. That list of funds, which I don't have in my book, I, I hold in another. I'll uh, send the it. only one listed was conservation fund. That's okay, it. so that would lead me to believe that. Well, we don't want to be led to believe. I we want to be factual. All right. That's all, all we right. want. I can accept that. So I would move, Madam Chair, that we request that this request that you just read be sent by the chairman of the budget committee as an officer of the budget committee. <sighs> On behalf of the budget committee, keep the motion a little more to simple. the town treasurer. Can yeah. I get a second? I'll, I'll second. I'll second it. I'll second it. All right. All those in favor? Uh, uh, can I make a motion? Is that unanimous? Yes. Thank you. A motion to adjourn. 